Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I have, I should remember what was in here. I honestly have absolutely no idea. This is the other knife that came in the box that Reich sent me. Uh, the actual Reich branded knife. The other one was a Quechua, which you guys have probably already seen the video uh, for that one. Um, but uh, I have not even taken the wrapper off of it yet. And I, uh, for the life of me, cannot remember what it is that they sent me. But I remember uh, the conversation and I remember that both knives were super epic. The first one definitely was. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Whatever it is, if it's something I can link, I will definitely link it right down below. Thanks so much to Reich for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. What do we got here? What do we got? Huh? What's in here? What secrets are you hiding? Let's see what we got. We got a pretty, a pretty regular box. Oh, okay. I don't, uh, I don't know what that says. So <laughs> we'll just proceed here. Reich knife. All right. And oh, 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 oh. yep. I think I do remember. Oh, this is a crazy one. Yeah. This one's all over the place. I remember seeing a picture of this and I was like, you know what? Just for, just for how outside the box that one is. Yeah. I'd like to go for it. All right. So let me, let me put the name of this up on uh, screen right now. Right. So everybody knows what it is. In any case, if it, wow, it's a fat boy. Um, oh, well it says the Athron. It says right there, unless that's the designer name. Well, you'll under, you'll, you'll know which is right, depending on whether or not I actually edited the, edited this. Um, but, uh, <laughs> what, huh? what the heck is going on with the blade? Oh my gosh. This is crazy. It's like if, uh, a stingray and a sword came together and created it, it became a knife, right? It's a front flipper. Does it work? Yeah. All right. It's okay. The action is really smooth. I think that's probably a combination of blade weight and smoothness on the pivot. What does this say right here? Forever steel? Mm, bold statement. Bold statement. What do you mean by that? Forever steel. What? <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, there will possibly be some clarification edited in, depending on what that means. Um, let me tell you what I think about the ergonomics. They're kind of weird. Um, if you put your index finger here and then you lay these fingers down here, this is all pretty good. Actually, it is surprisingly much more comfortable than it looks. Still a little bit weird of a thing to hang on to. My pinky slipping down over the edge. I immediately want this, the whole thing to be about half an inch bigger for my hands. In fact, the whole thing looks like kind of with the explosive and very loud aesthetic, the whole thing looks like it should be a little bit bigger. This is super duper, um, like off the beaten path, which is, you know, there's gonna, we're gonna get the, you know, the D student comment. That looks like a gas station, not. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Good, fantastic observation. Yeah, great. Um, so, anyways, um, this is. Uh, it's important that we have stuff like this, right? Because otherwise, what we end up with is a sea of stuff that looks like, you know, a Ray Laconico. Which I'm not coming down on that. Ray Laconico knives have their place. And I mean, on top of that, really, like what I'm saying is the folding steak knives of the world have their place. And there are good designs that come from that, right? It's great. Uh, we got a little bit, we, we got a lot of those right now, right? So even if this isn't going to cater aesthetically to the vast majority of people, and I'll tell you right now, this is not the prettiest knife I've ever seen. I like that it's here because sometimes stuff like this inspires other designers to be harder or softer with certain elements, certain, certain, you know, aesthetic elements when it comes to their own designs, right? And we end up getting things that are different, but still much loved by the community, right? 
Um, so it's important to have stuff like this, as weird as it looks. This is definitely weird. This is one of the weirder knives. The other, the, here's something. Um, why, why is this here if we can't get after it, right? I mean, it's it's purely aesthetic. Um, I think this does have boy. You know, how did we go this whole time without looking at the backspacer? Man, that's pretty cool. Listen, at base here, I. I I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta say, I definitely have a lot of appreciation for the vision that the designer had with this. There's so much going on. I mean, this really, <laughs> this really looks like a transformer knife, right? This really looks like something that, you know, while the transformer was scanning something, they they changed their mind, right? They, it was like it was scanning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was scanning a Lamborghini and like mid scan it was like nope I want to be an assault rifle right and it started it started scanning something else and then it decided to just be both um this is uh this is really crazy there is so much going on here I have no idea how much this runs it is by the way milled out for uh it's got internal milling look how they do the that's the screw head right there it's been domed off now this is all are these torques? Let's get a closer look here. Yeah, I think those are still torques, which is good. It's the same thing with the pivot. Look at that. Look how much work went into the pivot alone. I know I don't do as many close-ups as I used to, and I really should. Well, I know we, and here's the other thing. I haven't even talked about this grind. Um, <laughs> we have... So, like a good, it starts off down here as like 75% kind of tapers to about 50%, right? And there's a lot of this flat that's carried out. The, the primary or the maximum thickness is about here. A lot of it is still carried out to the tip. Look how many different lines we have at or near the tip, right? We have a short little groove right here and then little tiny areas. The milling almost turns into its own little fuller and actually comes out to the tip like that, we have the flat, the tapering flat, right? And then we have this secondary bevel. The primary bevel is hollow ground, but it has almost no room to drop to the cutting edge. So you have a very quickly, <laughs> an aggressive um, an aggressive hollow, it, not very much room to, to change, right? And then this is flat out here, very, very thick. So. I don't think the primary goal here was to create a blade that excels at any particular type of cutting task. I think this is Reich, again, doing what Reich does and showing off their skill when it comes to, um, you know, just design and execution, the ability to execute a really crazy design. I almost see stuff like this as Reich advertising to, and this, and if this is the case, Honestly, it's a really good strategy. If Reich uses knives like this, right, and then my channel is a catalyst of getting this out there, they're showing people, right, whether they've been in the game for a while or they're new, they're showing people, hey, look what we're capable of doing, right? You have complex ideas. We have the ability to execute those complex ideas uh, into quality products. So... While this may not be the most functional thing, the purpose of this knife, despite it being a knife, may not be primarily as a cutting tool. This might be um, a uh, an advertising beacon, which, it, like I said, that's fine, right? Um, so, this is not something that I would throw in my pocket and use as a convenient cutting tool. Is it made well? Is it durable? Is it long-lasting? Absolutely, right? But, you know, really, the elements to focus on here are, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, definitely capable of executing some crazy design elements, right? And this is not uh, new information when it comes to Reich. So, okay. I'll still review it. I mean, it's still a pocket knife sized object and it has a sharpened edge and it has a detent and it locks and all of that. So I'll review it. Um, give me a couple of weeks and we'll get that done. I have no idea what this costs yet, but I'll link it down below so you guys can go check. Thanks again to Reich for sending this in for me to take a look at. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, 
leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.